guys, uh, it's LeGrandzilla and I'm here to uh, today to do a video that's going to be a shout out to the artist known as Dope Pope. Joe, thanks uh, again for uh, giving me the opportunity to paint your uh, 3D printed Flying Hedora. And uh, I just want to say that Joe is a great artist. Uh, he's got a lot of uh, really cool stuff he does on ZBrush. and. Uh, and he has made this figure from ZBrush. He had it 3D printed, uh, made a base for it. And I'll be showing you more about that. But uh, I just want to show you some of the art that I have of, of uh, Joe's. Uh, for instance, right here, next to my Angerus collection, which is growing, I wanted to put his uh, picture of Angerus, which is awesome. And then next to my Baragons, or close to them anyway, I got some Baragon stuff. I have this picture that Joe did on ZBrush as well of Baragon, who uh, is my favorite. And so I got him here with some of my other Baragons. But enough about me and my models. Uh, just wanted to let you see some of his stuff. So let's look at some more of his stuff, and uh, also look at a uh, close-up of what he created as far as the flying hetera. have the 3D printed uh, Flying Hedora uh, by Dope Hope and it's what it looked like before it was painted. It's got a place on here so you can set it on top of the cool little base. It's got the official Dope Pope insignia on it if I can get it focused. Come on you. There. Kind of a cool little base. Anyway, and here's the one that I painted. Painted the eyes, put some gloss on them, uh, which is, uh, I use Future Floor Wax. And I airbrushed it with uh, some greens and browns and grays. But then, and a little bit of silver mixed in there. Uh, but then I uh, took some uh, real sludgy colored greenish brownish um, oil paints mixed with uh, turpinol and I kind of slathered that over it and around, in, especially in the 
recesses and I hit it with some oils of uh, yellow and red in different spots here and then I took these uh, these metallic waxes they're called rub-ons and they come in different colors and I mainly wanted to get a little bit more of a bluish uh, silver color so I used this one and the one over here mostly and I did also use this one here in the middle this brown to darken up some areas mainly the recesses so you can kind of see a little bit of a blue tinge in that silvery look which I think in my opinion um, works real well with the uh, making it look like the movie how I perceive the color on it anyway the adult form has a lot more gaudy yellow and red on it which when I do my model which I have over here my adult hedera from Atler G1 behind the bushes there peeking out um, <coughs> I'm going to probably make it a little more colored like this and, and make the red and yellow a little more subtle. But that's me. Anyway, it's a really cool 3D printed uh, figure. And uh, not real big, but a nice size. About as big as my hand here. And he's all ready to fly now. Hello. Be sure and watch the Grandzilla's videos and make sure that you comment and like and if you haven't already, subscribe. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.